hope you're ready for a bit of sci-fi fun because I'll be creating this painting in oil paints and I'm going to be showing you lots of really cool painting techniques. All of the materials I'm using in this tutorial are available from a gold and above Montmartre Art Centre. And if you'd like more information about this, then jump onto our webpage at www.montmart.net. We also have our Facebook and our Creative Connection attached. And it's the only place that you can download the PDF for this tutorial. So, let's get into it. So I've printed out my PDF and I'm going to draw up my scene. I'm using a 2B pencil and a plate for the template. So let's draw this up. drawing is done the next step is to define the drawing so it doesn't get lost in the underpainting step now this is something that the masters used to do with ink but I'm going to use acrylic paint and I'm going to apply it with my trusty liner brush So the black is dry and we can now apply the undercoat. I'm going to use a tear off paper palette to mix my paint on and I'm using some yellow orange, lemon yellow and scarlet. I'm applying it with my trusty old number 24 oil brush. This is good though because the filaments are stiff and it will create a little bit of interesting texture. I'm going to use my squirty bottle to apply water if I need it. I don't really have much of a plan so I'm just going to ad lib. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into that orange and bring the tone down. underpainting at that it's starting to look really great now you will notice that I have not yet drawn up the budger corn that's why you will need this this is the second printout in the PDF and we're going to profile cut it with a hobby knife and then create a stencil so let's do that We can then position the positive exactly where we want it, hold it in there with blue tack and then apply the negative. And we're ready to roll. So the next thing to do is to faithfully reproduce the black lines uh, in our budget con. I've taped the positive of my stencil up there to refer to. So let's get this black on.
So now for the exciting part, adding the oil paint. Now the colours that I'm going to use and how to handle them are all outlined in the PDF lesson plan that you can download from our webpage under this lesson in the Montmartre TV at our webpage. So let's start with the background. So that's the uh, top part done in the crimson and remember to try and make it patchy to let that underlying colour show through because it creates more interest. Now I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium red in and be careful because cadmium red is a lot more opaque than the translucent crimson so let's get that on. So next I'm going to add some medium yellow and use a new brush for this because we want our colour to be pure uh, with no contamination. So blend that in and then we can add some texture to the background with uh, some lighter colours. So let's do something about this moon and all of the colours needed to render this you should have on your palette so let's paint our moon. Well I think that might do it for our moon. I don't want to overwork it as I can tend to sometimes do. Like I did with the uh, clouds down here, I should have just left them, but uh, it takes two artists to create a painting sometimes. One to paint it and one to tell him when to stop. But let's move on to these um, mountain-like thingies here. And the ones in the distance will get lighter. Just like our mountains, the further away they are, the lighter blue colour. These will be yellow, so the further away will be slightly lighter yellow. So let's get them on. alien pixie-eared friend now and she's going to be an exotic green colour. I'm going to glaze this green colour on top of some tones that I'm going to build up in whites and greys and this is called a ventura or ventura and it was used by a lot of the old masters in the middle ages. So uh, let's get this ventura on.
is to glaze our lovely little alien friend here. All our hard work and tonal building has been done, so we must ensure that our glazes are translucent enough so that that underlying painting can be seen. Do not commence this next step until that underpainting is bone dry. Now traditionally sables would have been used for this step, but taclons work quite well too. Refer to the PDF in regards of what colours to use and how to mix the medium with them. connection and our Facebook if you haven't already and remember above all else to keep on painting.